What's up guys? How we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and to another gyno advice related video. This is a topic that is proving to be relatively popular, especially on my channel. I was a sufferer of gyno for many years. Uh, my case came on during puberty. Unfortunately, I had no idea what it was. Uh, you know, other kids at that age, you know, 11, 12, don't know what's happening. For whatever reason, you might have, uh, you know, relatively thin upper body, except for these protruding uh, nipples, <laughs> uh, mammary glands, breast tissue. Guys, gyno is a real thing. It's a real problem. It doesn't always come on through steroid use, okay? In fact, the majority of cases do happen through puberty due to imbalances of hormones. Now, I'm not going to get into that today, and I'm certainly no doctor. But what I am going to discuss is what I know, okay? What I'm comfortable discussing is things that I regret about my gyno surgery recovery process. Things that I could have done differently, things that I would do differently, and things that I'd advise you guys to just watch out for, okay? Just, just keep in mind when going through your own gyno surgery recovery. So these are three of my biggest regrets, three things that I did, unfortunately, uh, probably against the advice of other people, even though I didn't ask anyone, and that's my first issue, is that I didn't ask anyone, I didn't ask questions, I wasn't in contact with the surgeon, so when I did want to find something out, I couldn't do it, which then forced me to make up my own mind on certain things. But everything's 2020 in hindsight. So guys, before we get into it, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm gonna show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it, of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five-star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45-day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob, use code Jacob for 10% off, and I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use, guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm gonna be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers guys, and enjoy the video. So my three biggest regrets when it comes to my gyno surgery recovery, and these are three things that I did, and these are three things that you can uh, make sure you don't do. And so I see it as actual, real life, useful advice, right? That an everyday guy out there thinking about getting the surgery can at least think about, at least keep in mind. So the first thing that I regret doing is taking my drains out too early, okay? Taking my drains out too early. I was so scared. I was so, I was petrified of them pulling out these drains, right? With this this long bloody tube thing that's that's gonna be inside my 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 chest and it's going to be pulled out and it's going to be painful as fuck. Well look guys, the first thing I want to say is that it's not painful. The drains coming out are not painful whatsoever. You've got nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing. So first and foremost, I want to say that if your surgeon wants to put in drains, accept it. It's not going to be the easiest thing to, to walk around with, but at the end of the day, it's there for a reason and they, they do their job. They, they absorb blood, they, they, uh, they excise blood that would otherwise be trapped in there and form a hematoma, okay? And that's what happened to me. So I took my drains out too early, but not only that, a few hours after taking my drains out, I jumped on a plane. I went 40,000 feet up in the air 
uh, for about two or three hours. And you know, as far as uh, recovering from a surgery, that's the last thing you want to do. Not only, not only would the turbulence, whatever turbulence there is, even just walking, even like guys, in that first week, you want to be as sedentary as possible. It might be hard, but it's necessary, okay? And that was my problem. I wanted to get up, I wanted to start doing things way too soon, way too quickly, and it fucked up my recovery, okay? So, first things first, don't rush your drains, be comfortable with them, they're not gonna hurt, and also, stay still. Stay put for at least the first week. My second massive regret is the fact that I didn't get my hematomas drained when I, when I wanted to or when I thought I should. Um, I had two humongous pockets of blood underneath the skin um, that would not go away. And the only way that I was going to get any progress with them, any meaningful progress, was to get them drained. I went to the doctor, the doctor said, this is not my surgeon, okay, I'm away from my surgeon, so I can't actually go and visit my surgeon. If anything, stay put, stay around your surgeon. I had to travel interstate for my surgery. I traveled back on a plane, like I said, two weeks into it, had these massive hematomas, went to the doctor. Doctor doesn't know me from a bar of soap. He's never seen me before. He's not a gynecomastia surgeon. He's just giving me his general practitioner opinion. And his opinion was the risk of putting a, another foreign object, as in the, you know, whatever gauge needle was that was going to have to be used to excise some of this blood, he was like, right, well, we can try putting that in, but there's a risk that it's just going to cause more complications. And at the time, I was so, you know, I was so just, oh man, I couldn't even believe the, the situation I found myself in. I, I, I wasn't going to push against any doctor's advice. I was always going to agree, so that's what I did. And I never got the hematomas drained when I should have, and that extended my recovery for a long time. So that's tip number two. If you do happen to have hematomas develop, get them drained. The earlier the better. You might have to go back in and back in, but it doesn't matter. Get that blood out. Thirdly, thirdly, and this came on day 20, I took my own stitches out. I took my own stitches out because, uh, well, basically the stitches should come out you know, a lot earlier than three weeks because of the hematomas under the skin that was putting pressure on the cuts. The cuts weren't able to heal, so I had to keep the stitches in for at least three weeks just so they could actually hold those cuts together long enough for a scab to heal and for me to um, take out the stitches. So eventually I did take out the stitches. It was a fucking, uh, it was uh, nerve wracking, extremely nerve wracking. I should have gone to a, a nurse. I will next time, and I will say that my piece of advice as far as your stitches go, get someone else to take them out. Get the nurse to take them out, get a doctor to take them out. Don't do it yourself, because look, at the end of the day, however careful you think you're being, you might miss one. You might miss one. Look, I could have told you until I was black and blue in the face that I got every single stitch out of my nipples, and lo and behold, I didn't. But I didn't know that until about two months down the track. There was a little hole, okay, most of the incision had healed up. There was a tiny, tiny little hole in my chest that would not close. And because I had those hematomas underneath the skin that I didn't get drained, slowly but surely that hole was the only available path for this blood to actually get out of the skin. So that's what happened. This hole would simply not heal. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I had to walk around with a fucking bandage over this little hole in my chest for months, right? Because I didn't want blood to stain my top. And one day, I thought I could see something in there. I thought, you know what, man? What the fuck is going on with this thing? Why is it not healing? Why? Why is the skin being so foreign? You know, what, what, what is in there? Is a foreign object in there? What the fuck is going on? And lo and behold, I squeezed it, and I squeezed it, and I squeezed it, and what came out was a stitch. We're talking three months down the road. Three months down the track, okay? And I'd lost. I'd, I'd actually lost. I'd done what I could never have fathomed happening, because I'd been watching so closely, but I had. I'd lost either the underside of one or a full stitch inside the incision. And what that did, it... it is it was obviously foreign, it never allowed that, that hole to heal, and thankfully, thankfully, I found it, I got it out, and the hole, lo and behold, closed. So, 
there you have it my three biggest regrets when it comes to recovery and it's three mistakes that I made and it's three mistakes that you guys don't have to okay so stay put don't rush getting your drains taken out certainly don't jump on a plane three days after your surgery make sure if you do have the development of hematomas underneath the skin get them drained and finally last but not least get your stitches taken out by a professional okay that's it guys a little bit of inside information from someone who's been there before who's been there and done it and come out on the other side still not regretting it you know what i mean at the end of the day that's 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 it that's it you want this surgery enough um, if it's affected you in similar ways that it affected me doesn't matter what kind of recovery you go through doesn't matter how horrendous it, it is uh, to get that final result at the end of it all is, is always going to be worth it so guys thank you for watching and peace out best of luck